Hi, this is uh, Yitzhi Wurzel. I'm going to uh, take you through a quick run through for setting up a new queue. Okay, so you go to the call queue set section. Here you have the list of queues in existence. You click on add queue, give it a name. You have an auto assigned extension. Uh, you can change that if you want. You can assign a phone number to it if you want or not. Assigning a phone number, as it did, allows for direct um, inbound dialing to the queue. Otherwise, uh, users call through the extension. Sign agents. Choose an, an overflow destination for events when um, there's no one in the queue. In this case, I'm just going to say hang up, but it could be something else. You can also assign supervisors. Uh, in this case, I'm going to choose not to assign a supervisor. Next. Uh, here we set up the overflow rules. The first thing is how many calls can be simultaneously in the queue before overflowing to a destination. In other words, going somewhere else. Um, in this example, we have 20, that's the default, meaning if there are more than 20 calls waiting in the queue, the call will uh, overflow and go to the overflow destination. Another way of overflowing is based on the max waiting time in seconds. Right now, 900 seconds um, is how long we permit a caller to wait in queue. If after 900 seconds, this call is not answered, we overflow the, the call to a destination. Uh, it's one of our overflow destinations. Uh, the overflow destination can be a voicemail. It can be, uh, you know, it, it, it can be a ring group. It can actually be another uh, call queue, which would serve as an overflow um, for the main queue. In this case, I'm just going to say hang up, just to keep it simple. Okay, here are your call distribution options. We have a few different options here. You can ring all. Uh, means call sent to everybody that's available. Um, you can round robin. That means calls each, call each agent one at a time, or longest idle first, meaning we will distribute the call sort of like round robin, but we'll start with the agent that has been idle the longest, meaning them had the most elapsed time from his previous call. This is a great ring strategy for uh, distributing workload. So I'm going to choose, in my example, I'm going to do the longest idle first. Next. Um, next is you can choose your welcome prompt. Welcome prompt is what greets a caller when they enter the queue. You can choose your system default, no prompt, in other words, that don't play anything or upload a custom one. In this case, just to keep it quick and simple, I'm gonna use the system default. Same thing for music on hold. Music on hold is what do customers hear while they're waiting in the queue? Uh, you have the options of system default, upload your own. Um, in the future, we're gonna add here um, things like estimated uh, time to answer and position in queue and some more advanced some more advanced uh, things for music on hold like um, uh, uh, music on hold library, a sequence of music on hold files and things like that. That's uh, on a roadmap coming later. Now I'm all set. Um, I just review my settings. I can go back and edit them if I want to and Hit Add Queue. And uh, there's the newly set up queue. Um, so this was a quick walkthrough, and I hope this was helpful to you.